Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, uh, read all the numbers and weep. Um, and let's see, today's shout out is for Full Throttle 440. Um, if you take a look at his channel, he's been he's been on YouTube for a li for a little while now. He's been um, um, he he restored this 1972 uh, C20 uh, Chevy pickup truck, which if you're familiar with the C20, especially that vintage, my father had one when I was a kid with the uh, four-speed creeper low and then three more. Um, with the 350 V8, nice truck. It, it's just, it's just a working truck. There's, uh, y you know, if depending what you do with the gear ratios and uh, whether you leave the uh, old time tranny in there or if you change it around, you know, put something else in it. It's just, just a working man's truck. Um, he fixes some generators. He uh, fixes BB guns. I think I think I have to write one. Um, the memory isn't what it used to be. So yeah, go check out once again Full Throttle 440. Um, family Guy, you know, he's got his family on there. Some car shows. So anyway, um, this rat is ready to make its um, its debut. So. Um, Let's see how far I could get with one hand, and depending on how far I get with one hand, I might have to put the camera down on the box or or not. Um, I have this thing running on obviously a remote gas tank and a um, um, this is my 12 volt portable CDI. Turn that on. See the bat switch is on. Uh, by the way, the brakes came back. So that's a good thing, and yeah, I kind of starts better if I kind of hit the throttle. But let's see what she does. Yeah, see, uh, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna do this such that it doesn't take off when I give it too much throttle? Not enough hands, guys. By the way, I would call this thing probably a little too fast. I have an oversized carburetor on it, but even with that, I'm barely above an idle. Sorry for the wind noise. And uh, I mean, for a kid, 70cc, 